as a result of the project assignment that students worked on, they became familiar with the structures of a number of major multinationals, uh, including companies like Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Apple. A student noticed that the business that that multinational conducted with its users or other customers, generally speaking, outside the United States, was either within one single CFC or alternatively, maybe there were two or three CFCs which were usually geographically positioned. He asked whether there was some reason as to why there was this difference uh, among the CFCs. This discussion attempts to give some insight into this. Yeah, the, the, the question, because I'm not sure everybody, uh, everybody heard it, what Logan was asking uh, was he noted how in one group uh, of companies, or one, one company, for example, there's one CFC for the whole world, so to speak, and then a bunch of disregarded entities under it. And in another, uh, there's multiple CFCs, each with a similar structure under it, uh, maybe one exception because of Puerto Rico, but, uh, but generally multiple CFC, CFCs uh, rather than just one. And patients, uh, you're, you're commenting uh, uh, maybe things are more manageable. Uh, go, also, go ahead. I think Ireland, when it was originally unlimited, might have been a different kind of entity than Singapore as far as the CFC. Maybe it could do things differently than it can now as an unlimited. Uh, I, I don't think so okay. from, uh, from an operational okay. or legal or business standpoint. Uh, to be honest with you, my guess uh, is that uh, in the case of, let's say, a company where it is one CFC uh, worldwide, I, I think it's probably because, let's say, this, the structure was created at one time uh, centrally with a, a global focus, and they, in a sense, did it all at once. Uh, certainly uh, in, uh, go ahead. Uh, a difference between Facebook and Microsoft with its CFCs as well is those are also supporting all the retail operations in their region, so they're actually supporting physical entities existing in different countries as opposed to Facebook, which is basically purely an online entity. So I think that's why a worldwide CFC might make more sense for Facebook. Uh, yeah, that, that could certainly be part of it. Uh, what I uh, think is likely to be more often the case is in a sense, uh, in a sense comes out of some of the differences among large corporations and how they're managed and how they grow. Uh, for example, uh, in, uh, in one case, maybe, uh, maybe local management, so to speak, is relatively speaking a little bit stronger and wants a say in, in how things are or legally organized. Uh, they don't want to have a Singapore company, for example. You know, management in Singapore doesn't want to be legally under uh, an Irish uh, you know, uh, intermediary company, uh, which then is owned by uh, by the U.S. Uh, in other words, management issues can come into it. Another thing could be timing. Uh, we certainly saw that uh, in the Microsoft case that uh, some of these uh, different CFCs were set up at different times. And certainly the, uh, the uh, as we'll see when uh, uh, Lineal uh, talks at some point and gives a little bit more detail about uh, uh, Puerto Rico that at one point in time certain tax benefits related to Puerto Rico went away and a new structure had to be decided. 
while things that you've said are absolutely right and probably are relevant, you know, for some corporations, I think uh, I think management issues and, in a sense, timing uh, that things grow and things happen in different years is probably more likely uh, to be the case of what influences this kind of thing. Do we have one worldwide system or do we have a hodgepodge? Another thing actually is acquisitions. Uh, think about the fact that there's a lot of corporate acquisitions of other groups. And when a new company is brought in, all of a sudden there's you know, two structures. Well, bringing them together uh, is not an easy matter in a lot of cases and can take several years if they even decide to uh, integrate all of these things. 